you wake you. Is this man your father? Is this man your father? Yeah. Good! Then we have the right man. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Grayson. Or would you prefer Simon? Where am I? As of this moment, Mr. Grayson, that's the least of your concerns, I'm afraid. Listen to me. My father is one of the most powerful men in the country, so I suggest you let me go. Because he's going to find you and he's going to kill you. And that is a promise. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I'm afraid not, Simon. Dear old daddy's not going to help you this time. So who are you? It's a matter of who I am. This is your moment, not mine. It is a shame, though. What do you want from me? Patience, Simon. Would you like a drink? I'm having one. Look, if it's money that you want, you know my dad's a wealthy man, just name it and I'll get it for you. We can pretend this whole thing never happened. I promise you, just let me go and I swear, I swear, I'll never A moment mention. ago, you were threatening me with your father's power. Now you're trying to tempt me with his money. You're throwing away your bargaining chips quite early in the game. What do you say, Simon? Besides, it's not money I'm after. If it's not money that you're interested in, then why'd you show me a picture of my dad? Because it is your dad that's paying me to do this. You said it yourself, Mr. Grayson. Your father's a very powerful man. He wants to change the future, you know, change this country, put a stamp on the world. But to do that, he has to be seen as perfect. And we all know there's no such thing as perfect. So he keeps people like me around so that he can keep his hands clean while I get mine dirty. And he can't be seen to have loose ends or anything messing up his plans. I don't, I don't understand. I must be explaining myself very well. If this is going to work, your father can't be seen to have any weak links in his chain. Hmm? And unfortunately for you, you are a weak link. You think the world is your playground. You think you can do what you want, when you want, because your family have money and power. And your actions have got quite public and very messy and a big inconvenience to your father. You try and ruin his name and give a fuck you to daddy. Because why? He didn't kiss you on the forehead before bed as a boy. <laughs> and now he's sent me to clean up his mess. What are you going to do? I'm going to kill you, Simon. Why? Because your father pays me to. my favourite part, so listen carefully. When I was a young boy, 
My family didn't have a lot of money. They gambled and got in a lot of trouble with some very bad men. Now, when these bad men wanted their money, my parents couldn't pay. So, as punishment, the bad men took my two sisters. You know, it was the strange thing, Simon, was that my parents did nothing. As their two babies were being dragged away, kicking and screaming, my parents just stood there and watched. No, I couldn't forgive them for that. And I knew that if these bad men came back wanting their money, my parents wouldn't be able to pay, and my fate would be the same as my sister's. So, that night, I went into the kitchen. I took a knife out of the drawer, and I crept into my parents' bedrooms. And I slit their throat while they were sleeping. I learned that night how easy it was to kill to survive. And that's what I've been doing ever since. And then years later, I met your father, who offered me a job to do what I've been doing since I was 11 years old. Your father promised I would never suffer And I would never be poor again. So, when you ask why I can do all these things, the answer's simple. I'm doing it to survive. Now, <clears throat> your father wanted me to read you a little note. Sort of a, a goodbye. <clears throat> Dear Simon, I do in part regret that it has come to this, such a tragic end. I hope you understand that this is for the greater good and your death will not be forgotten. The whole world will see your terrible murder at the hands of a madman. It will give me a powerful sympathy vote and valued support to push my campaign further. In a way, your last breath will be the greatest gift you have ever given me. I want you to know that you have been and always will be my greatest mistake in life. Regards, Mr. Grayson. Shall we begin? Well then, Simon. Any last words? No. Simon, 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 this is your greatest moment. You're only going to do is sit there 
Say nothing. Suit yourself. Can't have you giving away our little <laughs> secrets now, can we? <laughs> Simon. Smile for the camera, Simon. <laughs> 